Hi, friends, I am Manu. This is the faculty of MEP department in Dakshaw Inspection Service at Kochi. Now I will explain you about the vectorizer system in a firefighting method. This is a firefighting system. The vectorizer is generally using for high rise building. It is about uh, more than 60 meter height to a very high buildings it is generally using. This is the vectorizer system. I will explain it with the diagram. It is shown in the board. This is the, there is supply, water supply from underground tank. There should be required an underground tank supply is there. There is a fire pump is using. Generally, four types of fire pumps are there using. There is a jockey pump. Second one is a, called a sprinkler pump. Third one is the main electrical pump and a diesel pump. This is according to the situation that we are using the both uh, different types of pumps. Uh, initially, this is the main electrical pump is, is generally using, but it is a type of small sprinkler is uh, broken down, then it is using jockey pump or sprinkler pump. Okay, anyway, this is a supply, water supply from the underground tank by using the fire pump. This supply is coming here, first it is coming in the main control valve to control the flow of the water to the riser system, wet riser system. Here there is a wet riser. This is this pipe main vertical pipe is called a riser, and it is connected to the cross main. You can see in the diagram. This is a riser means the this is a, this is a riser is using for the vectorizer system. In vectorizer system totally using as water. It is filling this line by using the water only. Not in a as compared to dry riser, this uh, this level is uh, filled with uh, gas like. Uh, carbon dioxide or nitrogen like that. Here it is a vectorizer system fully using by water. Okay, here it is the uh, lines, it is the main control valve is there and then there is here as a fire department connection is there because then if it is the water is not sufficient, one or uh, half or one hour after it will be empty, then that time the fire department will come and here connecting their hose will be connected here. So they are using this this procedure will be continued using the fire department. Okay. Then there is a drain valve is there to drain this line. Okay, this main valve is open. The, the the cross main and riser pipe it is connected to directly to the pipe hangers. It is using the hang of the pipe to the roof. This is a typical drawing drawing in a building, in a particular room I will show. And also this one connection, it is the valve is connected to with the fire water flow alarm. This is highly pressurized this is there. Initial stage, this is fully pressurized. If it is any sprinkler is broken, like for example, if a fire is happening there in this particular room, then the accordingly this this uh, automatically this all automatic sprinkler is providing. Thus this will be broken and suddenly the water will be drawn down here. So, the pressure is decreasing here. So, automatically the valves will and the detectors are there. This will be the fire alarm, water flow alarm. It will be operating. The sound will come. And also this uh, valves pressure is reducing. Same way this connection is going to the pump. The pump is start opening. Okay, this working. Then the supply is coming here. Like this the main riser pipe and it is this cross main and the branch lines it will be flush the water to the uh, entering into the room. So to uh, the fire have to be suppressed. This is a type of using is a suppression, this is a water suppression system. This is called an active fire protection method. Is using an inspector's test valve is there. We can use this uh, inspectors. They are using the, the line is checking every six months to one year. They have to check this line is working or not. This is the main working principle of a vectorizer system. Thank you.